Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I look a little bit crazy, a lot crazy actually. Um, but I decided to do this little look and I was inspired by Mavis, which is the main character, well one of the main characters in Hotel Transylvania. And I love those movies, mostly because of Selena Gomez. But I just love those movies, they're great. And I was inspired by Mavis, I wanted to do a black lipstick and all that but i don't have any black lipstick my hair is not black anymore and yeah um i couldn't do it 100 percent like her but i just added the purples and i mean i think it's still pretty like you know spooky and like vampy looking so i really like how it turned out and i hope you guys do too if you want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, as you guys can see, I've already gone ahead and done my face makeup. And that's just because my face routine, like foundation routine, is pretty simple. Um, and I am going to do like a new makeup video very soon, kind of fall inspired, where I'm going to show you guys my new foundation routine because I am using new products. But today I just kind of wanted to focus on like the dark and bold eyes and lips. So that's why I went ahead and did it before I started filming. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I know I don't typically start with like my full face already done. But if anybody was wondering, that is why. And I just, I'm going to be baking while I do my eyeshadow. And yeah, that's why this is still on. Just a couple of things. But anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to be using a couple of palettes, but I'm going to start with the new Katie and Desi Dose of Colors palette. And I'm going to start with this pretty transition shade right here, which is called Truro, if I'm reading the back of this thing right. I'm going to start with that shade and just apply it very lightly all over my crease. Another reason why I decided to do my makeup, like my face makeup off camera, is because my skin is like playing games. Well, my time of the month is like literally right around the corner, and I will always get like two, three really bad breakouts. And this month, it's right here. I kind of covered it up, but there's still like, you know, the bump, the like texture from it. It's really annoying, and I'm ready for it to end and just leave my face i really do want to film like a halloween makeup tutorial and this is probably going to be called something along those lines but like an actual like i don't know like skull or something i really want to do something like that and i actually did a school um makeup look if that's what you would call it a couple of days ago maybe like a week or so and I actually really like how it turned out, but I had to work with what I had. So like a lot of the things that I used were maybe not the best to be using on my face, which is probably another reason why I'm breaking out, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like Halloween is like a week away, so I'm sure I could get something up on time. You know, I don't want to upload it after Halloween, but let me know in the comments if you guys have any like specific requests obviously nothing too hard like i can barely do what i'm doing right now and it looks kind of bad so nothing too bad um i will insert a picture of the look that i did last week or whenever that was because like i said it did kind of turn out kind of nice and i actually ended up liking it so i might even film that but again you guys are just gonna have to not use the things that i'm using because it was just bad i'm gonna keep the lids pretty matte for this look i usually go in with like a shimmer or something but i'm gonna keep them pretty matte the reason i'm going in with concealer is just so that it kind of makes the matte color pop a little more just because i'm gonna go in with a really light shade so you'll see So over top of that concealer, I'm going to go in with the shade right here, which is a, a, a <laughs> shade necessary, which is this one right here. It's literally the perfect name because a shade like that 
is very necessary in like every palette i think that's the perfect shade um and it's just kind of like a really light pretty kind of nude color and i'm also going to take the same brush i just used just like the other side of it and just pack it over top of that concealer So I fooled myself. I really thought this color was gonna be like a lot lighter. Kind of like the concealer for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. It's not very light on the palette, but whatever. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of a different shade just because I do want it to be a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go into this Pure Cosmetics, this palette, whatever, however you pronounce that. And I'm gonna take the shade called Gala, which is right here. It's kind of a neutral shade too, with like a little bit of a pink undertone. But I think, hopefully, it's like a little bit lighter than this one that I currently have. So that's all I'm gonna do with the lids for now, but I'm gonna go into my lower lash line now with this color right here it's called gem and i should probably show you guys the palette this is the jacqueline hill bling boss palette which is like the purple shades as you guys could tell maybe i think that's all for the eyes i know i look a little bit crazy right now but that's because well this is kind of crazy but I'm going to apply my lashes. Hopefully that makes it look or like ties the look a little bit. And then I'll be back to apply. So I went ahead and applied lashes. Um, and these are from my local store here. I have the box. It looks like this. Um, they're local here in Arizona. But I know. Actually I don't know. I think they're online as well. So I'll definitely link them below if I find them online. Um. But if you're in Arizona, I'll tag the store. I'll insert the name somewhere around here. Um, I've talked about them before in a clothing haul, but she sells lashes as well. So I decided to give them a try and I've been using them literally every time I wear makeup. So, so for the lips, I'm gonna be using this really pretty purple kind of metallic shade. And it's from Ofra, it's called Napa Valley. And I've not used this in like a long time and I only used it, I didn't even use it, like I just tried it on. Um, but yeah, let's just apply this. I'm not gonna line my lips, I never do that. I just go in with lipstick. So this is the completed look. I am scared to say the least. I'm not used to something so bold or this color on my eyes on my lips or really anything but overall i think it looks good um at least for halloween like you know a little party or something definitely not my everyday look it could be for someone else but not mine i hope you guys found this helpful and i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial let me know in the comments if you have any other requests for fall slash october you know spooky halloween videos um, and I'll definitely get to those and also please make sure and let me know if you want me to do any particular Halloween tutorials. I will definitely try to get the school video up before Halloween. If not, it's not going to go up, but I'm going to try to get to that soon. And yeah, I look super crazy. I can't recognize myself, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.